Cool! Okay. Good, it looks like your research is complete, but running a kingdom isn't just about research. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your kingdom stores, which are accessible from the kingdom menu. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can only hold so much, so you'll need to empty them regularly in order for your item-producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Kingdom management is a complex business. We've covered the basics here, but don't be afraid to go over them again. Just go to the help in the library section of the main menu. Oh, hell no. You sit your ass back down. We aren't done. Oh, you better sit that little blonde ass back down. So there's ministries in charge of weapons and armor, and one in charge of magics and even one for Higgledies. They are. Speaking of which, we don't have anybody skilled with Higgledy management to head up the team right now. Short of sprite savvy, are we? We are. And without it, we won't be making any developments in that area anytime soon. What we need to do is recruit somebody. We have, just have to think of the right person. The grandma! Yeah, there we go. What about Auntie Martha? Who's she when she's at home? A friend we made on the way to Cloud Coal Canyon. I doubt anybody knows more than those little guys than she does. Perfect. Let's go speak to her right away to Martha's cottage. No. No. Sit your ass back down. I'll tell you when I'm done. Okay. All right, good. <clears throat> Hey. Okay, so where do I go to get like a... Uh... Okay, so that's just gonna keep accumulating. Let's do manage. What else can we research? Level two melee development, I have iron 170. Ooh. Forty minutes. Damn, that is quite the jump. Uh, not nearly enough for that. Can I um? Can I remove personnel? And actually, you know what? Before I do anything here, I should probably wait. I should probably wait. Let's, let's wait until we do this next part. Oh, what's all this stuff? You can build barracks, mining camp, explorer's guild, hunting lodge, ranch, verdant farm. Can I build this stuff? Oh, I can totally build this stuff. All right, let's go do the grandma first. Let's go do the grandma first. I can't get ahead of myself here. Hey. Okay. Uh, how do I leave this? Return to, to return to town. Oh, can we run around our town now? Oh, look at that! Cool. Oh, it's the chef, bro. What's up, chef, bro? Thanks, Your Majesty. I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am for this chance. I won't let you or your taste buds down. Uh, I'm sure your mind will is usually occupied with much more important matters than your dinner, but I'll teach you the wonders of fine cuisine if it's the last thing I do. I offer a very unique service here. You see, unlike other restaurants, I cook things with whatever ingredients your customers happen to bring. Yes. And the recipes I cook are guaranteed to bring out the best in their ingredients and be it their ability to heal or to make you stronger or even more intelligent. So if you ever come across an interesting recipe or some unusual ingredients on your travels, bring them to me. Hmm. Cool. But the more I cook different recipes from around the world, the more my culinary skills will increase. Once I've cooked up a recipe for you, you'll be able to pay a few guilders to have me cook it for you again anytime you want. Great! Let's take a look Are at his menu. Some order? Oh, cool, okay. So it takes two of the things that we've gotten and requires cooking level one. So if I, if I do this one time, Does he gain like experience or something? No, he probably already knew how to make that, so. Take your time. Buy cuisine. So I can I can buy the bread. Cool. Take your time. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll have to find him some recipes and stuff. That'll be fun. Um let's do this. I've come up with a new recipe. Oh yeah. Ah, 
Huh, what's up, Clundy? Hello there. If it isn't my favorite young men, then what can I do for you today, my handsomes? Hello. Well, I'm a favor to ask. We've started our new kingdom, you see, and we were wondering if you might like to come and live there. We need someone who knows about Higgledies. Well, now. What's that now? You want old Auntie Martha to move into this new country of yours? Oh. Well, not if you don't want to, of course. Oh, Evan, my love, of course I want to. I'd be delighted to come and lend a hand if you'll have me. You would? Wonderful. There's just one little problem, though. Someone's stolen my rub-a-dub scrubber. Of what? Course. Of course. Your rub-a-dub, huh? No, dear. Weren't you listening, dearie? My rub-a-dub scrubber, I said. It's a scourer. But it's not any old scour. It's a very special indeed. It'll get even the filthiest old pot sparkling clean with just a swish and a swash. I know, the CoW emote is, is one of the best ever. It's amazing. If you're wondering what the CoW is, it's the little guys in the background. It's that green guy. You can see him right there. That was him. Um, my, and my Higgledy darlings flat out refuse to be born into anything but the cleanest of cauldrons, so you see, I can't be doing without it. Gosh. How many Higgledies were born from cauldrons? Uh, but who do you think could have stolen it, Auntie Martha? A wicked little whamster, that's who. The problem is, I'm in no position to go chasing after those grumpy, grubby virgin, vermins. All right. <laughs> those grubby virgins at my age. Grubby vermins. Well then, we'll get it back for you. Um, okay. Um, mm. Boop. Okay. Uh, oh, Grody, Grotty Grotto. We Ta -ta were there earlier. For now. Okay, cool. I think we can actually, like, fast travel. Oh, my. Oh, this must be the side quest system. Great. Yes. Awesome. All right. We already went in here, and we already got the waypoint. Oh, wait, what? I thought I could fast travel to there. Didn't we open up a fast travel in it? I could have sworn we did. Huh, I guess not. Okay, that's cool. It's right around the corner. We'll just run there. Wait, why can I talk to you? Uh. Oh, because you're the main quest is to do your side quest. Okay. Well, it's where I just bought this game because of your amazing stream. Well, awesome, dude. I hope you enjoy the hell out of it. Man, we got a little party now. Look at that. Das Hibbit giving Matthew Mercer a sub. Thanks for that, man. I appreciate it. We got a battle over here, dudes. Oh, we're doing this real quick. I'm sorry. It's 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 go time. It's go time. Hell yeah, I am. Hell yeah, I am. What do I think of this game compared to the original? I didn't play the original, bud. Sorry. Bolstering your forces. Evermore has now grown big enough to that a new option is available on the briefing screen. Bolster forces. With it, you can spend King's Guilders in order to give your forces various advantages. Ooh. You can also opt to retry skirmishes in hard mode, which will see you facing a much more challenging enemies, but for correspondingly greater rewards. I don't even have enough for that, do I? Barely. No, I'm not doing I'm doing any of this right now. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yo, they got a lot of people. I still don't have any new people. We gotta get some new people. <laughs> I'm still doing it live, though. This is happening. Wham, bang, wallop! Prepare to squeak your last. I'm gonna fill you full of holes. Uh oh, they seem looking too good. All right, man. Forward march! Here we go, boys. Let's do it. Don't let them get away. Come oh, me, Bam! Are you me name over this? Go, go, go! Ah, oh, yes. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Oh, 
There we go. Great. Okay. Looks like we can pull him solo. Let's grab these guys. No, don't grab the wall. Get the dudes. There we go. Uh -oh. All the way. All the way. There we go. Let's grab these. We're doing this live. Here we go. Now, Pip Squeaks, all of you swarm them! And the second they do that, oh shit. We're gonna do this! Boop! Go. Now we're gonna spend some more might doing this. Woo! Right. Get a rally up in there. Get these guys down. All right. So we got the people that were standing around these dudes, but now we need to get them. Here we go. They're trying to flank us. You can tell. guys first. Now get him. Here it is. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Looks like that's all of them. Indeed it does, my boy. Won't be happening a, or won't be hearing a squeak out of that lot again. Hey, best danger. What's up, man? Royal Forge, thank you for the 100 cheer. Uh, Noir Doge with the one year, thank you, man. And Mike DVD says, how are tokens given? I've been a sub for over two years and watch regularly and I only have 396 lifetime tokens. Mike, here's how tokens work. Tokens are a free to play aspect of the channel. You get four tokens when the channel is live every hour and one token the channel is, or one token per hour when the channel is not live. So if you just leave the page open, you're getting tokens. But here's the thing. You need to make sure you're logged into Twitch and that you show up in the viewer list, because that's the only way that my bot can pull that you're watching the stream. So if you've been here for a while but not been getting tokens, there's two issues that might happen. One, you need to make sure you're logged into Twitch, and two, you need to make absolutely sure that you're not watching from a device that doesn't add you to the viewer list. That's the biggest gotcha. There are a few ways to watch Twitch that doesn't actually put you in the viewer list. It's mostly like unsanctioned methods, like if you use VLC player or something. So, hope that helps, Mike. Um, and then as a reminder, you can only check your tokens on coalition.com. So if, if you're ever wondering how many tokens you have, just go to coalition.com and log right in there. And I hope that helps. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Boop. Okay. Yeah, or you can scroll down and check under the stream too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the, the token panel is also completely up to date. The, the reason I don't mention that too often is because not everyone can see the profile. If you're watching on mobile, or if you're, you know, if you're if you're watching on anything except a computer, then a lot of times those extensions don't work. So yeah. Here we go, boys. Watch it. Boom. Beautiful. 
Rub a dub scrubber. We've never met before, have we? Mystery woman, you fight well. You are just what I am looking for. You must listen to what I have to say. I have an important mission for you. Flippin' Ackman! What have we got ourselves into? Who is this? Um. Is there something I can help you with? You're perfectly happy to blindly follow the request of strangers, I see. This can be a dangerous habit. <laughs> I see you've been watching me on Twitch. What? But you said you had a special mission for... Hey! Do not interrupt me or I should be forced to dock your remarks. Now listen, this is for you. Take it. What? A dreamer's key. Hmm? Is this a key? Yeah. It is indeed. I assume you are aware of the presence in this world of the mysterious portals known as dreamer's doors. Oh. I've long wished to investigate what lies beyond them, but I've been unable to pass the magic that seals them shut. But now at last, I've made a breakthrough. I've managed to create a key that will allow them to be open. I call it the Dreamer's Gosh. Key. This is very exciting. Why are you giving it to me? <laughs> uh, it certainly is. It was an achievement for which I was aw I awarded myself full marks. <laughs> Felipe Queens. Lol. Uh, which brings us to my reason for coming here. There is a Dreamer's Door in this very cave. Unfortunately, having come this far, I find myself in a rather problematic situation. <sighs> I am, as I am sure you can appreciate, a gifted intellectual. I am peerless in matters of the mind, but when it comes to the field of battle, I will I have little to contribute. As such, I fear what lies beyond the door may be beyond my, beyond my abilities to deal with. But behold, fate has provided an answer. A capable assistant has been sent to me. Well, that's good. Wait, you don't mean... Yeah. I mean you, of course. Yes. Uh, I don't... Hey! No arguments, please. I'm sorry to say that I will be deducting ten marks for any more such petulant outbursts. Flip it, right, be just, he does. Uh, she's doing my head in with this mark and malarkey. Before I go on, I must introduce myself. I'm Professor Milinia. You may call me Professor. Really? Professor, is it? There's a big head, I mean... Right you are, Professor! They won't be needing to dock any more points from us. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I'm happy to hear it. Now, behind each dreamer's door, you will find an object known as a dream fragment. There are nine of them in total. <laughs> Collect them all, and there may be some bonus marks in it for you. Now, if you excuse me, I just return to Goldpaw. Come and find me there once you've gathered all nine fragments. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Flip! Bonus marks, indeed. <laughs> Uh, I did wonder what all this was about, but I'm rather intrigued by these dreamer doors. Let's go check this out, man. Yeah, let's see what these are. Oh my. Okay. Uh, no. Not right now. Uh, this way? This way. Ooh, loot. Whoops. <laughs> What level am I now? I am level 18. You can see at the top left, right under the green bar. Can I go to my, uh, can I manage my kingdom from ever anywhere or do I have to actually physically go back? I probably have to physically go back. All right, dudes, let's do this. The Dreamer's Maze. Okay. Uh, Kitaria with the two months. Started with P5 and here we are. Thank you, man. Strange uncharted spaces stretch out beyond the portals known as Dreamer Doors. What lies at their end and what enemies and land awaits within, no one knows. When Evan and his friends enter a Dreamer Maze, the strain is placed, a strain is placed on the very fabric of space and time, causing the danger level of that dimension to gradually increase. Each time the danger gauge fills, the danger level will increase by one. Simply being present is enough to fill it, but certain other incidents may also cause it to increase. And when the danger level increases, so too will the level and ferocity of the monsters you encounter. As such, you must keep a close eye on it at all times. 
Defeating monsters in a dreamer maze will earn you strange pink spheres known as key orbs. Offer up enough of these to an idol when you come across one, you may cause the danger level to decrease. But each time you do, the idol's hunger for orbs will increase. You may also meet the occasional person in the dreamer's maze. You might have a gift of orbs for you be able to lower the danger level for a price. The last floor of every dreamer's maze is full of monsters whose ferocity is beyond imagining, but defeating them is the only way to stabilize these precarious dimensions. Wow. Okay. Five orbs. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Oh, we get orbs from beating these guys. Okay. That's gonna work. Is there loot in the pots? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll keep that in mind too. Careful, everyone. What are the green orbs? Oh, healing orbs? Okay. Yo, hurry up and kill him, you dinguses! You don't got time for this? Alright, we got 11 orbs now. Danger level is one. Can we lower it to zero? Let's find out. Let's find out right now. Nope. Good to know. just fall down the oh what the hell uh I guess we're going in okay it seemed like a terrible idea um That's pretty cool, at least. Okay, cool. Great. So we can go up there or over here. I don't have a map, do I? No, I don't. I do not have a map. Let's keep going up. Yep. Lame. Uh, do I have to go through that door that we saw back there? Oh wait, which way do we come through here? Maybe we have to go this way. No, we already went this way, didn't we? Yeah, we totally did. Oh. So maybe we have to go through that door. What's this? Oh, there's a chest. Hmm. 
Move on to the next floor. Next floor. Okay. I don't know how many floors there's going to be. But we are doing it live. As the ancients used to say, we are doing it live. Hmm. Come on. Damn, these are already higher level than us. Whoa! Whoa! That is a serious increase in power. Okay. Um... This, the music in this game is super good. Like, I keep just getting little bits of it. Well, I'll hear a little like, uh, like this, like what you hear right now. And it's just like, damn, that's, that's really good. That's some damn quality music. Cool. Where's the pirate guy? Uh, he could be in the party, but he's, uh, he's not right now. All right, looks like we're good for the next level. You can sense a presence of something truly terrifying beyond the door. Okay. Let's do it. Maybe that means it's the last one. Final floor. Boom. Boss, bro? Let's do it! Water cannon! Oh damn, I can't block that. Yeah, I can't block- I can block the two little start wins, but not the big third one. Man, how do I get this last one? I think so. I'm gonna have three. Oh, I think I lost my other skill. Hold on. There it is. So I get different skills with each weapon. Huh. All right. I'm gonna have to look into this system a little bit more, I think. Oh man, we almost dead.
Yo, I think it just blew up the little cannon those guys are gonna make. That's unfortunate. I wonder if this is his in range. There we go. Beautiful! A red dream fragment. Cool. Great, great. <laughs>